welcome i'm elizabeth harper and i'm here with this week's angel messages what i'd like you to do is place one or both of your hands over your heart just like angel wings invite your angels to guide you to either message one two or three a message that comes from their heart to yours what you can also do is move your cursor along until you intuitively feel you need to stop and right there is an extra special message from your angels. Just ask them to guide you to that message. All right, so we're using my big stack of four different angel cards. Just give them one shuffle. I already shuffled them. There are <laughs> Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael, the Archangels, and um, daily, daily message cards. So see if you can intuit which card is going to come up first, second, third. All right, I'm going to move my hand down the stack and see where I want to pick the stack up. I feel like it's there. Well, now, that's interesting. <laughs> There is a rogue card in here. It's a color card. Ooh, so may as well keep that right. So <laughs> there's a reason for it. All right. So now the second card. So I feel like I want to go to. The, I feel like I want to go right to the top. Actually, I feel like it's the top card. Do you get that? All right. Second card. Third card, rather. Feels like it's down here. All right there and it's actually one that's facing up so you may have used that before okay so our first card is this bright yellow card which actually comes from my orosoma deck so take a look at that beautiful energy you see there is a woman that's dancing and then on the other side two four six eight nine all right you know about the tarot that's the nine of cups the nine of cups is the wish card now that yellow vibration to me is archangel jophiel is that beautiful jophiel beauty light exuberance love there's a love energy that's there because of happiness and joy so that yellow is saying that you have a fabulous week ahead of you you have a fabulous time ahead of you there is so much joy there is so much happiness however with this yellow vibration with this yellow energy it's also connecting to your solar plexus right that solar plexus energy is it's your power, it's your self-esteem, it's your confidence, and it's also your fear. So you may find that this area is a little bit sensitive, or it could be that you're feeling a little bit tight in that area, and that could relate to some fear that's coming up. So now is the time to start focusing on that and healing it, and really affirming that you are confident, that you are safe, that you are secure, that you are wonderful, etc. This yellow energy with the nine of cups, the wish vibration, is saying that you have everything you need in order to create and manifest your wishes, in order to make them come true. So now is a good time to ask for what you want and maybe call on Archangel Jophiel to guide and support you right now. All right, our next card, next two cards are Archangel Gabriel. So the first card is pay attention to your dreams. So this says, push it further away from me, my goodness. You are receiving divine guidance while you sleep, even if you don't remember your dreams. The answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. So this is a good point because when you go to sleep, if you've got a question on your mind, then you can be guided to receive the answer in that state where you're not really thinking about it or you're not really trying to make it be what you want it to be. Because sometimes the answer is so simple, but we can make it complicated because we're trying to make it 
how we want it to be, how, how we want that answer to be. But the answer could be something very simple that you're not able to see because of that, because of that need, because of that desire for it to be what you want it to be. So when you're in your dream state, you get that left brain, that ego out of the way. And in its place, you get this amazing wisdom that can come through. You can get this in your in your waking state as well. But you know, sometimes when you ask questions like, you really need the answer, I want the answer, what is the answer? So in your dream state, this is the perfect time to get the answers to your questions. You can get those answers from your own wisdom. You can also ask your guides and angels during your sleep state to guide you to the answers. And what would be a good idea is have a journal next to you, a dream journal, write a question in that dream journal. So it's fresh in your mind just before you go to sleep. And then as you wake up, write whatever comes to you, whatever came to you in your dream state, even if you think there was nothing. As soon as you wake up, just write the answer to that question or thoughts that come up for you as you focus on that question as soon as you wake up, because then you don't have lots of other things going on in your mind. You're clear, you have more clarity. And as I'm talking about this, I'm seeing lots of sparks all around me. <laughs> so try that, because I feel like the answer is coming for you. A question you have on your mind, any question, just focus your dreams to guide you to the answer. I like that, all right. So then our final card, we had this just recently, is classes. And this says learning and teaching are part of your higher calling. So isn't that interesting? Now I have to say that my focus here is on those numbers right there. I was just looking at something and thinking about something this morning around numbers and adding those numbers up and looking at the numerology that's coming in for our 2018, for that next year. So for me, this is saying it's a learning period that's coming up for you. You're going to be seeking. Again, it's linking in with those questions and answers. You're going to be seeking a way forward. And it's something to do with either your numerology or you're looking at your finances and just adding things up. How am I going to make this happen? What do I need to do in order to get from here to there? And it all seems to be numerologically based or financially based, looking at that that ability to move from here to there using numbers. I also feel that because of this black and white, the blackboard and the white chalk that's on it, it's going to be very clear. So you're going to understand as soon as you make a list, you write down A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four, etc. that you, it's going to help you to get from get you from where you are now to where you want to be. And I feel that this is very much over this next six months. You know, this is not just about this time period. This is about this next six months. And I feel like you're going to be learning a lot over this next six months. It's almost like, I feel almost like there's little building blocks that you're going to be putting together and you're going to figure things out and then another building block comes in and then another one comes in. And I feel almost as if in six months time, you'll be looking back and thinking, wow, I've come a long way. And then you'll be doing this again. There's a sense of strategy that's coming in for you. And it's very, it's logical. There's a logic that's to it. However, there's an intuitive vibration that's there. And as I'm looking at this, note that the children, I'm sure I've pointed this out before, yellow and pink to me are about awakening. It's a birth. So there's some kind of birth that's coming up for you. It could be a rebirth or it could be an awakening of a new direction for you. And to me, it's very exciting. But there's logical steps that move towards it and beyond. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you and if you intuited which cards would be coming up. If you enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends. I'm sure they would love to have an angel message. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. <laughs> bye, bye.